at first it was an idea. And then we realized that we were really affecting people's lives. And then it became a religion. And we knew we had a sense of purpose. And that was to prepare and educate and inspire gifted elite musicians to get them ready for what's going to be coming right at them once they get into the real world of classical music. Conservatory is all about just the musical education and learning history and learning theory. What we're trying to do with the McDuffie Center is offer the conservatory experience, but what makes us different is that we really want them to get the liberal arts broader education. The music scene is changing and we need to figure out new ways that we can really market ourselves and reach new people. It's important for us to, to give the students a wide comprehensive approach so that they are equipped. The top young musicians in this country deserve to have a full, complete academic experience that is specific and relevant to the lives of working musicians. By offering business classes, classes like public speaking, website management, contract law, we're hoping that each and every one of these students will go on to have some success in the music industry. The mentality that the center has given me has, you know, created a sort of entrepreneurial spirit. And I realize that you have to think outside the box and be your own independent contractor. That's why Mercer is perfect for this center because we can tap into everything that works at this university. And it's extra special for me because Macon is still home. When I moved to Macon to get this program started, I moved here knowing in my mind that it was gonna be great. And we started with one student, and now we're almost at the full complement of around 26 students. My friends, they, some of them went to Juilliard in New York City. I mean, New York City is a great city, but it's, for me, it's too busy. It's too fast. Things make it a small place to focus, to practice. It's different, for sure. For me, it's been really good because it makes it a lot easier to focus on what I'm here to do. We're fortunate enough at the center to have 11 of the top teachers in the country who come to Macon kind of on a revolving door basis where every time a student turns around, one of us is on campus. The faculty at the McDovey Center are unparalleled anywhere. Bobby and I have made sure to select the top musicians in their fields who are out on the front lines performing, who can bring back amazing knowledge to our students and lead by example. My experience as a performer has helped me become a better teacher, and vice versa. Essentially, my message to my students is that you've got to learn to become your own teacher. Being an artist is being involved in the process, really learning what you want out of it and what you want to bring to other people. And through watching wonderful artists like Mr. McDuffie, Ms. Moretti, I was just amazed at the level of care and attention and presence that they brought to the stage and I realized that's what I need to bring. These are performers on a really high international performing level and I get to interact with these people. What separates this school from the others is the closeness of the students and the faculty and the accessibility of all of them. We are a small enough community and all looking out for each other and making up a wonderful network. Students here are very kind and that they help each other very much. That's the reason why I really love being in the center. The atmosphere and then the environment is really, really good. It's a family for me in America and I know that when I'm done here, I'm gonna have friends in America, in China, in Greece, in Brazil. All my close friends now. The students at the McDuffie Center are some of the finest, nicest, most talented, intelligent students that I've come across. And the dedication that I'm seeing is fantastic. Over half of our students are on the Dean's List every semester. 
there's got to be a lot of responsibility on how the students work and how they perform, and we expect that. And that's really conservatory on a very high level. It takes more than just uh, practicing your instrument, practicing your fiddle. And they are. They're doing well. They're making good grades. Everybody's working hard. They know that something special is happening here. And I just can't tell you how proud I am. The week in the life of a McDuffie Center student is extremely busy in a good way. We expect all the students to be practicing at least four hours a day. And then they've got their chamber group rehearsals and their coachings, their lessons, their orchestra playing. And not only that, then they have all their schoolwork and the other activities that are going on. These experiences are preparing them for what life is going to be like after they've gotten out of school. So going out into the world of music should be no surprise to any of these students after the opportunities that they get here. We've created a formula here at the center that sets us apart from any other conservatory or school of music. Because our faculty not only teach beautifully, but they're on stage all the time. We're performers as well as teachers. And I think part of their education is to be on stage with us and to see how it works. We're not only teacher-student, we're colleagues when we're making music together. The opportunities that are coming to the students here, I think are endless and nonstop. For example, Bobby has his chamber music festival over in Rome, Italy. And each summer, students do a performance there in Rome and work with other European students and with other faculty that they wouldn't necessarily get to run across over here in Macon. We have partnerships with the Aspen Music Festival and the Brevard Music Festival and the New World Symphony in Miami. It's just not an isolated experience here. We have tentacles all over the place. We want to give the students um, the opportunity to, to get out of campus and bring their music to people elsewhere. I played in an all-faculty group at the Rome Chamber Music Festival, and that was one of the highlights of my violin career so far, was just getting to play with all of the faculty here. It was just a really amazing experience. They also introduced me to these other professional people. We had the great jazz player John Petitucci in town. This is one of my idols, and then I get to meet him in person, and I really get to talk to him. We bring in the world-class performers and we get them to give a master class to the students. And then the extraordinary opportunity is when the student gets a chance to play alongside that person. And that happens here. I was able to perform with the St. Lawrence String Quartet when they came here on my first year, my freshman year. Mr. McDuffie has a lot of like contact with famous artists and then gives me the opportunity to play to those great conductors. These are talented kids, really talented kids, and this university is making a huge investment in these kids. We're working them hard. They get a little time. They can take a nap occasionally, but, but they're, they're, working, they're working really, really hard, and I'm incredibly proud. Because it's an undergraduate program, now we're seeing them go on to major conservatories to finish, to go into graduate work, and that's very exciting and satisfying to us as teachers to see and I think it will only continue to get better and better. I just am so pleased when it comes time for them to graduate and know that they're going to be able to go on and, and have success. We know we're part of something different and exciting, a little controversial, a little provocative, but still relevant and meaningful. We want to set the paradigm. We don't want to be another Juilliard. We don't want to be another Curtis. We don't want to be another Indiana University or another USC. We want them to look at the way we educate our talented students and follow our model. All of us who teach here know that it's getting more difficult to sustain a career in the music business. We're going to make sure that our students are prepared for that. Every student who comes to the center will never have just one primary teacher they're going to always have 11 mentors at their disposal. That's what sets us apart. And there's not one teacher here who needs to be teaching here. They're doing it because they bought into the philosophy. 
they believe in it passionately, and they believe in every single student who's here.